again peoples how you guys doing today this axe here air from kansas city and uh, yeah we had that last video that we talked about and we discussed a lot of the points about uh the cost and the progress or the evolution of champion gear and how it's kind of like obsolete uh nowadays it's independent uh it's not necessarily independent anymore of itself but before we get into the content and the video of this video i want to kind of like uh ask you guys his opinion thanks for viewing you guys tell me what you think about my guy's gear here he wanted a little bit of help to know what you guys think what's your opinion of it so let's get into that right quick and tell me guys what you think about this okay here's my guy guys uh he has uh he wants to ask if you guys and i'll show the the um i'll show the messages here as you guys can see his concern is that he's one of few players as you guys know us uh about making champ gear so he he's able to take all of his champion pieces to purple and he wants to know what do you guys think should he take all of his gear to purple or what should he do guys uh, as you can see right there uh, he, he just wants to know what people would think about his gear uh, should he keep make it all purple or should he what should he do basically once he want what he wants to know uh, and like I said he's probably one of the few people that keep all of their gear um, who make that much champ gear and not take it one piece at a time to gold or something like that so you guys help him out uh put it in the comments what do you guys think he should do uh should he make it all purple i'm thinking at purple his gear is not gonna have that much stats uh so I'm thinking his gear probably won't have that many stats at all purple because you and I know at purple uh, champion gear doesn't really pack much of a punch. Uh, there you see now that is a lot of cavalry. Uh, that's not bad at all. Uh, but some of the pieces at purple like that one's only 13 uh, infantry attack. Uh, this one is at purple it is only 13 percent uh, this one here at purple is 22 so my suggestion would be of course work on one maybe two pieces at a time and it depends on what you're working on of course go into it with a little bit of knowledge rather than doing like i did when i used to start making champion pieces back in the days or you know I, I started making champion pieces seven years ago guys champion gear but i had and i had quite a few purple pieces and and, and green and you know and i deleted those or i demolished them uh after you know a few years ago just a couple of years ago in hopes of trying to get some gold mangs out of them and that was like ridiculously stupid uh but uh, i did that yeah uh just moving and navigating in large mobile without the proper knowledge and direction and foresight kind of like what igg is doing guys because nowadays as we're as we have been discussing champion gear is no longer when we looked at bryn chong's account champion gear uh that we look at back then you didn't need anything else if you had champion gear yeah you could put jewels in there and um but as far as that it stood alone it was independent you saw his stats they were around 400 average for about 400 stats depending on what gear he was rocking whether it was mixed or a blast uh, and those were the stats back then. Uh, and uh, so, and that's with him having that gear on back then and then having the the base and the force. So he had an extra 
in everything, guys. Not to mention he had the extra um, uh, base forts and things like that. So, one of the things I, I've I've said about the game of Lords Mobile now is that Champion Gear has gotten swallowed up and it's lost its distinction from everything else now in the game because we looked at a player that we looked at in the last video and we saw his gear and it is it's it's a shame that a person can have that kind of gear with zero artifacts zero talents uh zero artifacts zero uh astrolytes this gear is probably only what hitting at about what in the stats by itself without astrolytes and artifacts uh he has zero of that stuff guys you know he does have 69 castle stars though so that's kind of cool but uh this person here this particular this gear here this is not a hard hitting account, but it's an expensive account. He's invested a lot of money in the game just to have champion gear. Those champion fates, I mean, them is them is like thirty five crimson gold gold crimson mangs a piece. If not, they're probably they're probably because they're fourteen of each gold mane. Uh, each gold main, each main, each champion main uh, grade. Your common, uncommon, rare, epic, and gold, and then uh, make it. So uh, fourteen each, which could take you know a purple, a purple main, crimson main. In this is fourteen, and that's every bit of what four gold mains uh and so and, and so uh so that that 28 now becomes 32 and you have to probably add like three more gold mains so you're looking at about 35 36 gold mains some of you guys know the exact numbers so he that's a lot of investment guys and one of the things i, I was saying is that Yes, the game should pro progress. The, yes, the game should advance. It should. It should. It. Sh I mean, it can't be stagnant, and 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 it has to be dynamic and grow and change, uh, because that makes it much more fun. But it, you, IGG can't do that at the expense of people digging further and deeper in their pockets. to finance it i mean it, that, that's ridiculous it's like when we look at bren chong and, and the money that bren chong spent back then for his account he spent guys you have no idea how much bren chong spent back then for that all gold champion gear and the emperor uh the cost for emperor war to ask a player like that to dig in their pockets and finance an even greater expense in a, for an account that is mythic and astrolites and familiars and um, uh, artifacts. That's axing too much. I mean, that's more than asking a player to bend over backwards. I mean, that's a royal, a royal, royal screwing or fucking over, you know, to be blunt with it, guys. I mean, literally, think about that. You know, and, and so the, the direction of the game is so lopsided because you have the same emperors, the same people in emperor. It's like emperor is... And it's like it's been entitled to a very small group of Chinese gamers 
who is already suspect on how much they are paying to um, monopolize and keep a reign and a rule and a dominancy, uh, uh, you know, over on, on Emperor War. Uh, and of course, it, they get a lot of support from other groups or other guilds. I mean, you got players who have spent just as much money as an emperor account who don't have an emperor piece. Uh, they've invested in troops and rebuilding and in, in all the updates and upgrades. So what I'm basically saying is, no, I'm not against the game developing. But don't call, is what I'm telling IGG, don't, and what I'm re 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 conveying to you guys, don't call champion gear the highest level of gear, the best gear in the Lords of Mobile, when it can't even stand alone and be effective or worth the money. So what IGG should have done, like I was messaging one person in the messages, uh, IGG should have just simply, they should have simply just um, came up with a new gear and label it in a sense the gear of a champion, like gladiator gear or super hero gear. I mean, some sort of some sort of name that supersedes champion but still conveys the meaning of of what a champion is uh, uh super warrior gear it could have been you know um they could have come up with some sort of name that is equivalent to champion or something but this gear would be the new gear that would have far much more power than champion gear the stats will be over well you know one and a half times better than champion gear and can stand alone so what i'm basically saying is igg could have came up with a gear that say for instance um let's go here guys let's go here say for instance i'm just trying to find somebody in in general right quick that has some champion gear on. We're right back to this guy. It's crazy. But anyway, uh, like, like, let's 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 look at the stats that we have here. IGG can come up with a whole new group of you know your main hand, your off hand, your accessories, your boots, your vest, your plate, your your helmet. They can come up with a whole new group or you know, set of war gear that is a higher champion gear. It's not going to be called champ gear anymore, or champion's edge gear or whatever they call it. It will be called, you know, a gear that reflects this is the next level of IGG's champion gear. And so that way, People won't have to invest in champion gear as if, you know, or they won't have to invest in champion gear and still need all of those other things to make it the champion gear worth buying. Because right now, if you were to, I mean, you would spend a ton of money anyway. You will spend a little less than Bren Chong did, of course. You know, you spend a whole lot less than what Bren Chong did. You can buy this mythic champion gear right now for far less than what he paid for his gold champion gear back then. Uh, he spent a hell of a lot of money, guys. So what IGG should be doing is come out with a gear that can make this gear die off and be a has-been. Because it is a has-been. It's, it's died off now. It's nothing. You have to put astrolites. You have to put artifacts. You got to put hero levels and castle stars and all this to make this gear even worth anything so what igg should do is just let this gear here uh, as it has run its course let it just fall away fall aside and come up with a new gear not just like a book of the dead or book of scrolls or you know uh all these you know the 
cottage gear and all this stuff. No, come up with a new gear that is the 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 new champion gear, the new elite gear, the the, the highest gear now, so that this gear here can rest in peace. Uh, can, can 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 so that this gear here it, it will it will be done away with peacefully and uh so igg so this gear here is let's say for his the stats on this person's gear let's just say it's um without the astrolytes and artifacts let's say this gear here this gear here is somewhere in the neighborhood of i want to say 500 600 right what do you guys think about that? I mean, would that be fair to say that those stats probably in a mix would probably be about five, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, and 500, right? Maybe six at best. So IGG should come up with a new gear that if you were to use that gear by itself, it would automatically give you twice the stats. If you had it, you know, a, a full, the full, you know, group or sets that you know like let's say it would give you like let's let's look at instead of having say this one here there they come up with a new helmet that would like this is 35 let's say the next champion one would be 60 for an infantry and 64 range the army attack would be 21 and the army HP would be 45. That sucks, man. Sorry about that. Spam. Spam, my goodness. Tough guys. But anyway, sorry about that. I apologize that I could delete that. I wish I just would have pushed pause. But anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. So IGG can come out with another gear like this one here, the cavalry attack is 49. They can come out with another uh, uh, gladiators him him that would be a cavalry attack of say eight. You know, so the point of it would be is that now IgG wouldn't be losing focus. Because you can't, what I'm accusing IGG of, this is what I'm accusing them of, guys. They're claiming champion gear is they is the best you can get in the game. When we know now, that's not the case. Uh, because you can have it, and you still need all that other stuff to make it hit. That's my point. IG, that's my point. So come up with a gear that... It doesn't need to be supported by astrolytes and artifacts and castle stars and heroes. The gear in itself is great. Remember when IGG came out with the 11K hero, right? Remember that? I don't know if there's one right now in the... Um, I don't know if there's one right now in the... Yeah, there is one right here. IGG came out with this hero right here. Eleven thousand dollars. Now you can get it for five five thousand dollars. You can get it for actually probably if you're buying the coupons and buying it that way and then using all sorts of other things they got. The game has been so depreciated. Like people were paying eleven thousand dollars for this. And Four years later, you mean to tell me I can get it for three thousand dollars? Because I mean, the facts of it is, is if you go into the uh, the diamond store, you get a thirty you get a thirty dollar coupon. Let's say you spend five hundred dollars. You spend you, you, you let's say you spend five hundred dollars. IGG is going to give you thirty percent more diamonds to be able to spend on this hero here. So not only do you get the five hundred dollars, you you get a total of. 30, 60, with $150 more. So you get 650 bucks. Okay. So um, now this piece here, rather you, you get you get a 30% back on it. Then if you buy one plus one, buy one, get one on this, 
Oh my goodness. You are, you've already reduced it to half the cost. So 11,000 turns into 550. And then if you take 30% off of that, 5,050, now you're looking at 3,000 3, and something. You, you can get this piece for about $4,000. And the attacks are still pretty, pretty, pretty beasty. I mean, look at that. It has an infantry attack of 60 and a cavalry attack of 60. So my point is this, guys. This hero is really good. It has a lot of power. What is the problem with IGG just coming up with a new gear that is the new champion gear that has stats like this? who knows what they would charge for it i don't know but the point i'm saying is that, is that the gear can stand alone by itself and you don't need all these other things now the time would also come back around that that gear would also be obsolete because of the game advancing and so what i'm saying is guys is listen to me if bren chong who spent let's say bren chong spent in the game and somebody said that he uh he, he had help financing his account you know uh, and they made some other statements that I met, commented on, that I replied in the comments, uh, that the person had become involved with some bad stuff. Uh, I don't kind of put that stuff out there about people. I think you got to really show proof of that. So I appreciate the comment, but let's kind of like, um, let's not uh, slander the guy in a sense if we're not going to present the proof. And it could be well-known knowledge. I don't know. But if it is, put that link to Bryn Chong. Um, uh, his his whatever you said and then i'll i'll actually put that in the next video but anyway uh so bren chong spent man back then man you didn't have one plus one you didn't have no coupons but we all know that chinese people and bren was chinese or korean or something he was asian or somewhere around there Back then, you were spending so... I mean, very few people... I mean, back then, guys, very few people had champion gear. And and, and, and gold. Pure gold. Even Shorty Doo-Wop God and Medovic and Medovic, Medovic, Medovic and all these other big-time players back then, guys. I'm not talking about, you know, guilds like B2W and, you know, the the... the main rally leads back then um I, I forgot what their gear looked back looked like back then as a matter of fact let's see if we can see it right quick okay guys here is one of the videos from the dirt dirty jokers back then that i was talking about this was like six years six years plus ago so six plus years six and a half somewhere around there there's the infantry gear there's some purple boots this was a bun one billion might as I said six years ago, if you were one billion might, you were extremely respected, guys. You see the gear, you see the gold, um, and I'm just giving you this for an example to let you know the extent to what Bren Chong paid to have gold champion. There were not a lot of players that had gold, gold champ gear. Let's move on to the next example. As you know, this guy was one of the favorites. I've rallied with him. Uh, and I've been, I've played with this guy. There's that gear there. Look at those kills, guys. He had way more kills at that time than Bren Chong. Uh, but Bren Chong uh, still played at that time, too. Uh, I was a part of the Joker, Joker family back then, guys. So I was just a rally filler. And, you know, we was... Uh, you know, it was it was it was great, guys. Uh, so let's look at we saw the gear. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Here's another one here, guys. I guess I think uh, my dude Radical was doing a overview of uh, Texas account at that time. And this video was uh, it was over five years ago. And those those uh, heroes were really really good. Uh, 
I remember Nightbreed, my boy. And I'm going to back it up again, guys. I want to see that again. I'm going to kind of slow it down so you guys can see it. Uh, let me just slow it down. There it is right there, Abe uh, with the Joker family. That was five years ago. So by this time, of course, Brain was out of the game. Uh, and then, and, and that is all champ gear right there to Mythic, guys. So Abe was a beast. Yeah, I played with him as well, guys. And let's look at some of the gears that some of the guys has. There's another one, one Mythic. There's another one of their Rally Lees. There's Texas Joker right there. There's not a robot right there. There's another one right there. There's another one gold right there. So what I'm saying is you did not have at the time that Bren Chong was spending on the game. And these guys, too, when they were spending on the game, man, there was not a lot of... Um, there was not a lot of um so that's my point guys there at around about five or uh really around the sixth seventh and eight year ago you didn't really have a lot of players with that kind of um uh gear okay and my last example i want to do i do want to use this one guys i thought it was interesting uh because there were this was over about six years ago video so this was a good example as well uh that lets you know there were besides Brent Chong, there were uh some people who invested a lot of money in the game uh, and we know that but there were very few and in between a lot of people did not have that all right so that is my point there guys um yeah, the game has to advance. I get that. Uh, but my my point is, is that, you know, the game, there should be able, there should be something to distinguish players, guys. The, the, the most elite players from, and I'm not just talking about the emperors, guys. I'm not just simply talking about the emperors. Because nowadays, all the emperor accounts pretty much look alike. What is there like? four or five or maybe more emperor accounts uh and i mean they all are in the same circle you know they're 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 they they're against each other in a sense but you know um <clears throat> but there should be something to be able to distinguish i mean <clears throat> back six and seven years ago is what i'm what i'm what i'm stating is a champion gear and gold gear that type of gear there not the purple and all that other stuff but particularly champion gear and gold gear and especially if your champion gear is gold it really sets you apart it, it, it really uh, people admired and those were their accounts that people really admired and looked up to because they were extremely distinct from everybody else those type of accounts whereas nowadays all the accounts look alike do you see what i'm saying so there's no distinction there's no separation uh so igg it's like everybody looks the same except those very what those those few 10 accounts that got emperor pieces things like that are gear so igg needs to come up with something that can really fill not fill in the gap but actually create the gap from that what the game the highest level of this game and and, and i'm not just talking about you know the you know a blast of 3,000 and, you know, a, a mix rally of 2,500 or something like that. I'm not talking about that, guys. They they can do that with astrolites and, 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 and just uh, artifacts and, you know, all that by itself. But so that's what I'm saying. IGG, you know, my accusation is that simply that you can't really ask players to keep spending when they have spent such a huge amount 
already. So what I'm saying is if you ask players like these guys that we looked at who have already spent 100K, 300K, 500K, $500,000, $300,000, $100,000 on their accounts back then that today are only worth, for one, today, those accounts back then that were gold champion back then that were that people spent, you know, undetermined or unknown amounts of money on that today are only worth, I mean, that's a very big depreciation. They're only worth, you know, what, $2,000? I mean, you couldn't even... You could, I mean, a champion account that's gold nowadays, guys. I mean, that that account is like literally worth nothing. I mean, honestly, uh, you can get a two, three, four piece mythic champion account like mine for a couple of grand, you know. Uh, and then and it and it costs one piece costs a couple of grand, you know. So I mean, if you just look at my gear right here, that's over. I mean, just that gear alone is is over what? Uh, $10,000? I mean, honestly. The, the, just the, the champ gear, I mean, it, it costs you what to make a champ piece? It costs you, if we look at it in a sense of, uh, let's say 24 gold mangs calls you if you buy the one plus one where you get a thousand you need you be basically like 2400 champion chess you need somewhere in that area of 2400 and uh so if you if you break that in half and you say okay you, if you use the one plus one every time that only costs you if you use the one plus one or the uh delights coupons discount delights if you use something like that where you get two thousand four hundred bucks so if you get two thousand champion chests for one hundred dollars you need twenty four uh twenty four hundred champion chests so you're looking at uh two thousand champion chests at a hundred dollars each and you need 24 which is 12 of them you're looking at 1200 right there so like about 1200 per champion chest so somewhere in that neighborhood around that around that at least a thousand dollars right and that's just for the you know that's overall so in in general i would say that these those champion pieces would be about four thousand dollars or five thousand dollars basically depending on your how what kind of drop rate you get if you get a bad drop rate then it's going to cost more so just those four pieces about five thousand dollars right there if you're using the coupon and something like that but those guys when they spent it back then where you you had no coupons yeah you had no coupons you had no discount delights you had no one plus ones uh so those guys were spending for their full champ accounts. I'm talking about they were spending every bit of um, the full price, which was and, and then they they had it. Like I said, you were spending basically the you were getting much less. You were getting much less champion crimson mains or champion chess. You were getting much less because they didn't have they didn't have the champion chess packs out that they do now, where you get. 600 of them all that all you had was that one champion chest that looks like this here all you had was this here guys uh you had if it's here uh well let's see if it's here guys it's not in this one guys so not in this one they have they don't have the hundred dollar pack is what I'm looking for they don't have it in here so but the hundred dollar pack only gives you like 200 and something champion chess you know 300 all together something like that and that is bad so you were getting you spent a ton of money for champion chess so that's the point I'm saying is it wouldn't be fair for a 
person who has spent and and I get it you know so what is the person left to do you I mean how long do people actually play the game I mean I mean what's the average you know I mean I mean it's crazy you know I mean I get guys and people who message me saying they were back then playing back then and uh, I mean it's like crazy man it's crazy so um The point I'm making, guys, is that IgG is confused and the game is just, it's so different. Yes, it has to advance. It's got to progress. It's got to be updates. It's got to evolve. It's got to be dynamic. It's got to be interesting. It's got to have multifacets. It's got to be creative. And you, I mean, you got to have fun. But that fun becomes very serious there's no jokes when it comes to having to constantly spend so much so what's the other options guys what's the options guys what are the solutions what's the options besides I know some of you guys are like don't play the game okay but what's the the solution what's the option I mean what can people do um what what what's what's the alternative? That's what we gotta ask ourselves. Uh, thank you, King. All right. Uh, but anyway, um, something's gotta be done, guys. Something's gotta be done. So that's all I really wanted to talk about, guys. I really wanted to kind of like do a continuance on the last video and just further, you know, poke at the bear. I'll get you guys' thoughts on what you thought about the, how direction. I asked uh, Fyra if she would, you know, make a video like this and give her form of knowledge. I even asked people like, you know, Wordy Prince speaks on it a lot. You know, Alvatrex, if you would, if you're watching the video, uh, give your thoughts on, you know, things like this. I don't know if Alvatrex is sponsored by IgG or not. Uh, we know where the prince isn't. He 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 stays on their head. But uh, Alvatrex is a good. He, I watch his videos. He doesn't come out with a whole lot of videos lately. So, but anyway, guys. Um, that's what I wanted to talk about. I couldn't find some of the videos I was looking for because a lot of them are just gone. Uh, so, but as I said, I, I do stand corrected or sit at this point corrected. I do recant that there were not, and I never said there were absolutely no gold champion accounts back then. It just was very few. Bryn Chong was definitely the first. Or I think he was the first. He might not have been the first, but I think he was. And at that time when he was, there was very few champion uh, accounts. I, I don't even know if there's any people, I don't even know if people even recorded the, you know, the Emperor Wars back then, uh, back then, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you guys with this Emperor battle of uh, Bren Chong. Uh, complimented by, let's see if I can show you who that is, Jason Barreto. Uh, so there, I'm going to leave you guys with this Emperor War versus A to Z versus JVT. And that's where I'm going to leave it at, guys. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, I am out. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, he's doing a lot of gear check in here, so that'd be good. And I'm hoping he does it on both of their sides, guys. So with that being said, have a good week, guys. I hope I got my point across. I'm not sure if I did, but uh, who knows. Until then, I'm out, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Be peace. Be peace. Be peaceful. Take peace. All right, I'm out.
this video was seven years ago guys seven years ago uh, don't have the exact date but it was seven years ago actually I do have the exact date this was in November 19 2016 guys November 19th, 2016, seven years ago. By this time, Brynn was already an emperor. I like the gear checking he's doing there. So a lot of the players, uh, there were multiple players, at, even in Brynn's Chong 2016, that did, even in his, on his own team, that had... Uh, champion gear so you can see it there guys Think about the videos back then, guys. They didn't show a lot of the formations and things like that. And I don't know if you had certain. I don't think that was an option to go in all the different formations. I'm not sure, guys. Not sure. Not sure. Brand did lose quite a few of the battles versus the wonder battles here versus JVT as well. So uh, there was a few hits that he did not win. As you'll see. And there wasn't a lot of people at the forts either. Catch that last hit, and that's where we will call it a day, guys. Here it goes, right here. Seems like they canceled on that one, guys. I'm out.